Hi, I'm Jay Thorvald Ellis, and I'm Hanchito. You know, the martial arts to me is not just about physical protection. You can also apply it to physical labor. These simple motions can be applied to movement to prevent injury and in return strengthen the body, combined with knowledge such as flexion and breathing techniques. Uh, that's why I was extremely intrigued when, when I was made aware of the fact that perhaps there's a new lifting technique. Back pain is just not a physical condition. It also affects a person mentally far more, I think, or at least equal to the physical pain. And what I like about this new lifting technique is that it, it's almost like it defies gravity. business is one of high volume, large bulk, and by its very nature is inherently dangerous to both our employees and our members. We're always looking for ways to, to uh, increase productivity. One of the ways to do that is to use correct lifting techniques so we don't damage our most valuable asset, which is our employees. Uh, that's why I was extremely intrigued when, when I was made aware of the fact that perhaps there's a new lifting technique that can be ergonomically sound, biomechanically sound, and um, much more efficient and less damaging. It went down and tipped it. It's easy. There's absolutely no feeling in the back whatsoever. By simply dropping down to one knee, keeping the back straight, pulling the product up toward the knee, into your midsection, getting a firm grip, keeping it tight within your center of gravity, and instead of going up, you step back. We usually find that, for the most part, pe people's pains and symptoms will um, be more severe, it will take less injury or less trauma for the pain to reoccur, and also it generally Back and takes forth, I did a whole pallet's worth, and I think I was about halfway through the pallet when it went, but it was an oncoming That's thing, I had felt it come on that for... It's starting to affect the disc. As the disc gets swollen, it, uh, over a period of time, maybe it can pinch a nerve. As the nerves get pinched, maybe they can swell up and it can affect pain down the back of the leg if it's a low back problem, which is sciatica. The people that have had a back problem, it's very, very obvious. Back pain is just not a physical condition. It also affects a person mentally far more, I think, than, or at least equal to the physical pain. They want to know if they'll ever be able to go back to their job. I was upset just that, that my back, I, I felt like I was out there alone. You get to feeling like that after a while. If you lose your self-esteem because you can't do anything. Twisting is a very, very dangerous thing for your back. So remember, along with the leverage lift, keep in mind that pivoting is very important. Hold the weight in, into your body, that is your center of gravity or stomach. By pulling it against you tightly enough, you can bend the knees and pivot, and pivot, and change directions. Depending on what you're lifting, there are many kinematical combinations that can be added to the leverage lift. In Hanchido, you learn to flex instead of using strength. By developing effortless motion, you are more relaxed, maintaining stamina and longevity. Using your breath properly adds to strength as well. The truth is, strength should be used to protect you from injury, not used to lift an object. Effortless motion is the key, rather than using the standard lifting stances that cause awkwardness. advantage of this technique is that it works like the other ones from a biomechanical standpoint but it makes it far easier on the worker to pick the box up it's just less work it just makes sense to me that if it is less work to pick up a box properly that all the workers out there are just going to do it on a more regular basis thereby protecting their backs over a longer period of time thereby decreasing tremendously the chances of back injury I hope nobody becomes familiar with that pain I wouldn't wish this back problem on anybody, and I'm one of the lucky ones. I am a lot better now, but I'll never be the same. But I do know people that have had back injuries that will be shuffling their feet for the rest of their life.